there. Welcome to another episode of People's Lima. I am your host, Eric Lima. What is going on? A lot a lot of ground to cover, ladies and gents. Episode 122. I am your host of People's Lima. Check it out. Elimination Chamber. I'll tell you the results. You probably most of y'all saw it. If not, I'll explain. when I if you, if you comment on the video, I'll explain to you what happened. All the champions retained their titles. AJ retained her title by disqualification. Uh, over Cameron. Cameron won by disqualification over AJ. AJ retains her title. Biggie Langston retains his Intercontinental title over Jack Swagger. The New Age Outlaws retained the tag team titles over the Usos. Randy Orton retained his title in the Elimination Chamber thanks to Kane and the Wyatt family. They got involved. Don't know what's going to go on there on the fallout. Batista, one side of the match against the Burrow Del Rio. And Titus O'Neil beat Darren Young. The Shield beat the Wyatt family thanks to Ambrose mysteriously disappearing. What's going to go on now? We don't know. Tune in tonight on Monday Night Raw. WWE Network is on the way. It's underway, I should say. Um, get your free trial if you want. Or, you know, pay for the whole thing. I don't care. You know? I, I'm, I, well, financially, I'm strapped right now at the moment. But, uh, actually, financially, I don't want to afford it right now. Don't want to take a chance. Just for right now. Just for right now. I'll wait on that. <clears throat> um... You know, guys, we're about twenty. We're twenty-five days of winter left, so be patient, keep calm. Things spring, all right. We can get through this. We can get through this. I have, I have uh, great confidence that's going to happen. Also, what's going? Um, a new Power Ranger season is underway. Uh, not underway, but already been announced. And we have Super Mega Force two, uh, two season, two episodes into Mega Force, and now we got another next season on the way. Dino Charge will be the new name of Power Rangers. It will be the suits from Kyuuja, or Zunin Sentai Kyuuja. Um, and it, they said elements from Go Busters. Not Ghostbusters, Go, Go Busters. Speaking of Ghostbusters, um, uh, uh, condolences to the family and friends of Harold Ramis. He passed away. Harold Ramis was fo uh, popular for playing Egon Spangler in the Ghostbusters movie. Also, he starred on Stripes. He, he starred in the movie Stripes as well, alongside Bill Murray and the late great John Candy. So. To uh to the folks uh to the folks of uh, family friends of Mr. Harold Ramis, my condolences and prayers go to you. Let's talk about um uh <laughs> let's talk about the baseball season. I'm really excited about it. Red Sox, most of their core guys have returned from the championship team. They lost Ellsbury. We, we lost Saltalamachia. Ellsbury went to the Yankees. Saltalamachia went to the uh, Miami Marlins. And Andrew Bailey went to the Yan uh, Yankees as well. So we still got Hanrahan and Yuihara and get Edward um, Mulika. I get, that's, that guy's name is hard to pronounce. But well, we got uh, three guys that are capable of closing. Hopefully Han Hanrahan can come back from that Tommy John surgery. We got a rotation. We got uh, Chris Capuano added to replace uh, Ryan Dempster, who will sit out the entire uh, 2014 season. And uh, but a lot of Yankee fans are saying the Yankee fans are saying that they'll take the division this year. Really, <laughs> really, <laughs> you guys are gonna? <laughs> yeah, Yankees take the division this year. Okay, here's here's your scenario, Yankee fans. All right, well, work with me here for a moment. All right, I know I said um, I went on another video, the 2009 uh, World Series video, where the Yankees won it all. So I was sick and tired of, you know, it just annoyed the Yankees. Say, oh, we got 27 rings. Oh, we're better than anybody else. Yeah. You got your 27 rings. Guess what? I got two words for you. Who cares? All right. Who cares you got, got, if you guys got 27 rings? All right. All right. Rick Flair's got 16 world championships, you know, and, you know, and he doesn't brag about enough often, you know. Hey, that's what he accomplished. That's what he accomplished. Um, <laughs> I mean, who cares that the Yankee fans won 27 rings? I mean, and you guys gonna say you're gonna win the division this year? Let's look at the scenario. You got you you lost your third baseman suspended for steroids for the entire season and through the playoffs. If you guys didn't even make it there, you guys lost your best closer to due to the retirement. All right, you're gonna lose your best shortstop in in the major leagues due to the retirement next next season. All right, you lost Jobber Chamberlain as well. I mean, and and you lost Robinson Cano. All right, yes, you got Ellsbury. All right, Jacoby Ellsbury, for your sake, I hope he does well. If not, you know, his injury. How about, because he's injury prone as well, so you guys be very careful with Ellsbury. And then you've got uh, Masahiro Tanaka. You guys signed him 
And he has not pitched an inning in the major leagues yet. Hey, listen. If this guy be, turns out to be another dice keg, don't come crying to us. All right? Us Red Sox fans, we know better. All right? And, and you guys got to know closer. David Robertson is your closer. You guys picked up Andrew Bailey. I'll tell you, for your sake, you better find a closer, and you better find a good one. If Robertson's going to be your closer, hope he's, for your sake, I hope he steps up to the plate. If not, <laughs> you, can kiss, you can kiss your chances of winning that Eastern Division goodbye. Plus, you're in that you know, competitive. We know the Rays are going to be competitive. The Orioles is got, going to be competitive. We know the Blue Jays, even though they were in last place, they were picked to, play, to be first place last year. It was the other way around. Red Sox picked to be the last place. Blue Jays picked to be first place. Whew. Boy, the roles have been reversed, ladies and gentlemen. On that, I mean, you're crazy. You got, you know, you Yankee fans are crazy. Just slow it down. Oh, we got all these good players. We're going to win a division this year. Hey, well, I'm not bragging that we're Red Sox going to win the division. I say we're going to be just fine. We lost a few key players. We added a few key players to fill in those voids. And we don't know the uh, situation with Stephen Drew. Be very interested to see what happens there. But I'll tell you what, right now, boys. I'll tell you what, you Yankee fans. You, you, you division. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to take it. You know, you lost Pettit, ND Pettit, too. So you got Sabathia, who's probably your legit ace in there. You know, and your bull, bullpen needs to be sorted out. So, and you lose A Rod, you know, and A Rod, I think mean, ever since the Yankees acquired A Rod, I think that team chemistry is ruined. That's the main reason why the Yankees have been winning, because they had that team chemistry. No egos, no, you know. And I'll, and ever since they signed A Rod, they want to go out and get some of the best, some of the best players for over $100 million deals. It's like, if you can give A Rod that, we want to, you know, you know, we want you to give us that, and that's how. Oh, if they can give A Rod this, we'll go to the Yankees. That's what the problem is. You, you know, between the nineties, in the mid nineties, all right, from ninety six to two thousand, you know, the Yankees had great team chemistry. They got guys who want to play the game, homegrown players like Bernie Williams, you know, Derek Jeter, you know. Jorge Posada, those guys will you know, bring a lot of class and honor to that organization, you know. And I'm a Red Sox fan. And I know how to respect people, and those players I respect because they know. But ever since you guys acquired the Yankees acquired a Rod, only one World, one World, one World Series titles. That's right. Yeah, you guys have been contending in the playoffs and all, but I don't think so. You know, a Rod is what did you guys in, unfortunately, and it's going to be very, very tough for you to get back on your feet again after you get let um, get rid of a Rod. That's for sure. Uh, also, uh, also want to talk about what's going to go out happen tonight on Monday Night Raw. You're going to see Hulk Hogan return to Monday Night Raw. It'll be very interesting to see what he has to say uh, that Ric Flair is rumored to return to, to make an appearance, and the Undertaker as well, which is a lot of things on the Undertaker's mind. Who is the Undertaker going to face at WrestleMania, or will this be a reason that that to announce that Paul Bearer will be in the Hall of Fame. Who knows? Lots of questions will be answered. Who will join Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake Roberts, and Alita into the Hall of Fame? We'll find out for sure. So, whew. And, uh, yes, th this has been the worst winter ever. Never doubt the Farmer's Almanac on this one. And we're not done yet. We have 25 more days of winter left. And possibly one-fifth or one, you know, I've heard now that four, possibly four significant uh, snowfalls will be left according to Accu weather but who knows for sure and uh a lot of things change you know something's happening on Wednesday could it be you know could could it be significant or could it not be it won't it looks like it was not going to be serious we're just going to keep calm and think spring guys that's what we need to do you know don't you know we know we don't like winter we've had enough of the snow I do not blame you guys for one iota but you know I'm with you on that boat but the fact of the matter is, keep calm, think spring, think spring. Right now, we're going to have some cold weather. You know, I'd rather have the cold weather than have the snow. But you know what? Things happen, you know, things don't go our way sometimes. That's the way, you know, things work, you know. Sometimes we want things to go our way, and sometimes we get angry when things don't. That's the way, you know, life is, you know. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people insult me, they hate me and all that. You know what? I, I'm like, I've heard it all before when I was a kid, man, you know. You can throw, you know, haters and trolls control all the insults at me, me when they want. I'm just gonna sit there and go, yeah, that's nice, you know, that's nice. You get any more uh, jokes and insults that are not uh, so old, you know? I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur, you know, that type of deal, you know. That's how I am sometimes. So, uh, uh, <laughs> I got nothing more to say on this uh, on this subject on on this any subject. Well, well, this uh. uh <laughs> That's all the time we have in the show for today, and I'm kind of hungry, so 
I'm going to eat uh, some dinner soon. Just want to let you know, uh, remember to watch to tune in tonight on Raw to find out what the fallout is in the Elimination Chamber. How is Daniel Bryan going to handle the situation when getting screwed out of the title? How the Shield is going to handle uh, their situation? Who knows for sure? How is WrestleMania going to shape up? Who knows? Tonight, Monday Night Raw, tune in. I'll get you more information about Dino Power Rangers Dino Charge if I can. And uh, and about the Red Sox situation, what, what their deals in spring training, how they're going to go about it, who is going to go where in each position, who's going to make the team, who's not going to make the team, whatever. Over these 25 days left of winter, because the 20th of March is spring, keep thinking spring, positive positive thinking, the power of positive thinking usually works, have faith also. So, that's all the time we have in the show. I'll see you guys later. Episode 123, I don't know what I'll talk about then, but tune in, be cool, stay solid. Peace.